Hey guys, so today I really want to do a book review because I just finished this book last night. It is one of my favorite books of all time now, which is kind of saying a lot. I just loved it so much that I decided to do a book review on it, which I've never really done video reviews that before. I've only done it once. I tried to do it another time and I just didn't feel like editing it all and I didn't start taking my notes till like the end of the book. <laughs> I just love this book so much and I just want to talk about it all with you guys. It's by one of my favorite contemporary authors now. Wow, I was not expecting to love this book as much as I did. And that book is Save the Date by Morgan Matson. I adored this book. I can't even explain it. It made me feel like, okay, so one of my favorite series of all time is the Mother Daughter Book Club because those books make me feel like I'm at home and it just gives me like warm and fuzzy feelings and just makes me happy to read which is why I reread it literally every single year. I can't believe I found another one like those books and it just makes me so happy. This is at least for me. Maybe you guys will read it and not enjoy it because everyone has different reading tastes but this is just how I feel on the book. I just I really want to reread this book already and I haven't felt that way in such a long time now. This book follows Charlie and her sister is getting married and her sister has always wanted to get married in the family house so that is where this whole wedding is taking place is at their family house and all of the siblings have grown up except for Charlie because she's the youngest. So first you have Danny and he is 29 and then you have Linny, who is 28, and she's the one that is getting married. And then you have JJ, who is 25. And then you have Mike, who is 19. And then Charlie is 17. And you follow Charlie, and she's so excited because her whole family is going to be in one house again. Because a lot of things have just been happening, and there was some falling out between Mike and her parents and just like the whole family. So she is just so pumped for everyone to be back in the same home again. She wants to make this wedding for Linny the best and the most perfect wedding ever, but obviously things do not go as planned. <laughs> First, the wedding planner quits. And you realize that she's messed up every single thing that she was supposed to do. Then there's an alarm that keeps going off and there's family feuds between Rodney's aunt and uncle, and Rodney is who Linny is getting married to. There's just a lot of things going on. There's also a crush that comes back to town. It felt a little weird. Like, I don't know. I definitely think that the crush aspect felt a little weird to me. It made more sense as the story went on. Like, the prologue is about him and Charlie, and it just... It felt weird to be starting off the book like that. In the first few pages, I was laughing out loud and I was relating so hard to this family. They have, so within the first few pages, there's like a group chat and they're all talking and everything. And I just relate so much to that because that is definitely like me and my friends. That is like me and my family. I loved how relatable this book is and it makes me want to have like a huge family and a ton of siblings. And I only have one sibling, but I love her dearly. Also to add on to this, it is the end to Charlie's mother's comic. So Charlie's mom makes a comic strip in the newspaper, in the funnies, and it is all about the Grant family. And some of it's fictional, a lot of it's inspired by real events that the Grants go through. I loved every single one of these characters. Each one was so developed and 3D. I couldn't believe how she, how Morgan Matson was able to develop all of these characters while still like maintaining a huge and very strong family aspect to it. I also love how the love story took like a back seat 
and it wasn't necessarily like a love story like her other books were. It was more just about the family and bonding and friendship. I love how Charlie grew throughout this book and this book takes place in three days so it's the wedding weekend. Charlie's just so excited that her family's finally coming back together that she kind of ignores her responsibilities like she was she's editor-in-chief of her school newspaper and she was supposed to have a huge meeting but she decides to skip it because her family was coming back in town that day and she also starts ignoring her best friend because her family's back in town so it kind of makes Charlie realize how much she just drops everything for her family. Also realize how much she hates commitment. She wants everything to just go back to it the way it was when everyone was still in the house, everyone was happy and getting along, but that's obviously not really gonna be able to happen. Everything just kind of starts falling apart throughout this book. It was just like a perfectly imperfect book if you kind of get what I mean, because it was just a perfect read, but like so much bad things were happening, especially the ending. Uh, wow, okay, I relate, <laughs> but Charlie has commitment issues. It's finally brought forward. Like you don't really realize that until the end when someone calls her out on it. The family, like I love all the siblings so much. JJ has to be my favorite. He is so funny. He just constantly kept me laughing and he would say the craziest stuff and he went to MIT and is like super successful now. No one can really believe it because like of how he acts. There was one part in the book where, so since the wedding planner quit, there had to be another wedding planner brought in and there was a like, I wanna say he was either 18 or 19 and his name was Bill, but his real name was William because his uncle's name was Will. So he didn't really want to go by the same name as his uncle. So he decided to go by Bill. And then JJ's like, so is your real name like Billiam or something? And Bill's like, I, I no, um, my name's William. <laughs> JJ's like, no, I swear Billiam is a real name. And the rest of the family's like, JJ, you have no idea what you're talking about. And then, <laughs> in the middle of the rehearsal dinner, someone calls JJ as he's giving up to give like his practice speech, and he's like, oh, perfect timing. Can you say your name for everyone? And he's like, JJ, you know what my name is, like the guy on the phone. And, <laughs> and then he's like, just say it, please. He's like, my name's Billiam. And then he said his last name, but I don't remember what it is. And he's like, oh, thank you so much. Did everyone hear that? Did everyone hear that? I think you owe me some money now, directed toward his brother Danny and Rodney. I just love these characters. I love how they interact with each other. They all love each other so much. And there's some issues between one of the siblings and the rest. There's a scene at the end <laughs> where they reenact something from the comic strips and it was so funny. Also, it was amazing because you get to see characters from The Unexpected Everything and the boys were like fanboying over the fantasy writer from The Unexpected Everything. I'm forgetting his name right now. I don't know why I'm forgetting his name. It was just really funny because it takes place in the same town. So the main character's dad is the governor from The Unexpected Everything in this book. I just, I love how all of her books connect and there's always cameos between characters and it just makes me so happy. So there's also Danny who is the oldest. Him and Charlie get along the best. They're the closest. But it's really weird when he brings home a girlfriend that he did not mention to anyone. Everyone thought that was really weird. He's kind of acting like he's not really caring much. She's super successful. She, she's a doctor and she dresses super cute. You kind of see some of her bad side because Danny starts to ignore her for his family, kind of like Charlie does with her best friend kind of goes downhill from there. So then we get to Linny, who poor Linny had to deal with all of this on her wedding day. It was, 
Poor Linny. I love her and Rodney. They're so cute together. She definitely senses something going on between Charlie and her crush. And she's like, girl, you better talk to me about it. And it's just like a great big sister to her because they're the only two girls out of the three boys. I love seeing her wedding and how much her and Rodney love each other because you can definitely tell subtly how much they do because it's just how they act and how Morgan wrote them. And there's JJ, which I already kind of talked about. And then you get to Mike who, I don't know like if it was just because of how Charlie views him that he was like a not nice. I don't know how to describe him really. <laughs> he was very petty about something that happens and which I completely understand how he reacted to what happened. I don't think think was right. His character developed a lot throughout the book which I was really happy to see and then we get to Charlie who I've already talked about because she's the main character. This book made me so happy and I have some notes here. Now that I said all of that random stuff, um, I wrote down some notes. It's just a few things that I also I want to talk about, which was the setting. I love that it was based within three days and it was a wedding. I don't think I've ever read a book about a wedding before, at least not like something that's like it's centered around a wedding. I really loved how you got to see multiple different family members besides just the siblings. This book is just a bundle of joy, love, friendship, family, sadness, and just literally everything I wanted. This book is much like, I don't know, when I was reading this and I was like writing down some of my notes here, you really get to see how close everyone is once you add in people who are outside of the family and don't really know the family that well because they all kind of just like a like special club basically I want to say because they're just like all together. They don't really let people in that well. They don't really accept outsiders. And I think by the end, you kind of could tell through the dog who was a surprise by the Good Morning America cast because Charlie's mother was writing a comic strip and it was finally ending. The Good Morning America cast came in and that segment was so funny. They all didn't know how to act. They were like all embarrassed about everything. They were like starstruck. They were on Good Morning America. Things just started to kind of go wrong because people started blurting out random things and everything, it ended with everyone cracking up laughing. And it was just overall a funny time. And so because there is a fictional dog named Waffles in the Grant story, they decide to get an actual Waffles, which no one was happy about. It was a huge surprise. No one knew what to do with the dog because they never had a dog before. Speaking of animals, Mike, <laughs> Rodney's best man. That was so funny. Oh my god. Everyone thought that he was like on drugs and was like high like literally the entire time. <laughs> Because he walks in with this huge duffel bag, black duffel bag, and he's like guarding it and his eyes are like darting back and forth like, no one better steal this duffel bag. And then Rodney asks to grab it from him and like help him up and he's like super defensive about it. One time where he um, had like a super long like scratch down his arm and people were like, um, huh. And he kind of just like acted like on nerve the whole time. And so everyone thought that he was on drugs, <laughs> but he was hiding his cat <laughs> because his cat sitter backed out at the last minute. So he didn't know what to do with his cat. And Linny is allergic to cats. So immediately she thinks, oh, maybe I'm allergic to dogs too because she doesn't know about the cat in the house. And then he also realized that he can't officiate the wedding, which was a whole nother story. And <laughs> Oh, poor Mike. Oh, poor Mike. <laughs> Just a whole ride and a journey. I loved Bill, who 
was the wedding planner. Well, he wasn't really the wedding planner. He was like helping out with the wedding planner. He was like the wedding planner's assistant or something. And I love how him and Charlie became to grow to friends and they talked a lot and they grew closer, but like you couldn't really tell like a relationship, like they loved each other. I feel like it was like very slow and subtle and even by the end of the book, you don't really know because like obviously they have like a thing by the end of the book, but it's just very slow and I loved it and it doesn't take the central focus. <sighs> this, book. this book makes me feel like I was watching Gilmore Girls, I was reading the Mother Daughter Book Club, which is one of my favorite books. I don't think I've ever felt like this about a book in like a really, really long time. One thing I did notice was like almost every chapter transition started with quote like in the middle of talking which like I love like how she took out some stuff so that it like moved a little bit faster but I just I don't normally notice those things but I did for this book so I think she did kind of do that a lot but so I think it's time for a reread of this book honestly I know this wasn't really like a very like in-depth review how she spoke and like the writing and everything but I just wanted to talk about my thoughts on it because I just really love it and maybe one of you guys does too and you want to talk about it with me because this book came out like a few months ago I think it came out in like June I don't know why I waited so long but I'm honestly I'm kind of glad that I did because maybe if I right away I wouldn't have liked it as much and if you open this cover this has with every single Morgan Matson cover there is a cover on the inside you have the comic the whole Grant Central Station that's what the comics called in the newspaper and there's just a lot of little things that made me happy and made me laugh oh if you're looking for a very feel-good read with a lot of fi family dynamic and I know a lot of people like the reviews that are very in-depth and everything but I just wanted to talk about what I thought about it obviously gonna be like a few things that I was like okay Arlie uh she blew up at one point and I just thought that some of the things that she said she probably shouldn't have said <laughs> Which, like, I feel like everyone does, and especially, I think, I definitely have. So, I can't really blame her, it just shows how she's not perfect at all by any means. So, yeah, I did really enjoy this, and I hope you guys end up picking this book up and you like it. Uh, let me know what your thoughts were on this book, and thank you guys for watching my thoughts on this book. I hope you enjoyed this book review slash just talking about my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!